Hi, welcome back. So, today I uh, want to give you an update from start to finish on how I got this uh, Musa Paspangelii or Musa Paspangeli um, up from seed. Okay, so this is the entire process. All the way from seed, it's taken me about 11 months uh, to get it like this and we'll take a closer look at this in a second um, this is a rare uh, recently discovered recent as in 2013 it is native to the mountains of India uh, thereabout and uh, it is a high altitude banana produces edible bananas but has the largest seed of any of the mooses. This plant I've, I've now finally put out into the garden about a month and a half or so ago. Uh, it has been quite cold here this winter, which is really weird. Um, but yeah, that's neither here nor there. The plant is up. I've got another one which is not looking as hot. I did have 13 seed. Now, let's just get down to the nitty-gritty of what we're going to do. I'm going to take you through the um, breaking dormancy of the seed, okay? And for that, you need to soak the seed in lukewarm water for 24 hours. I soaked mine for 48 hours because I lost track of time because I had too many other things going on, naturally. So, 48 hours got me, <clears throat> excuse me, got two seed germinated out of a mass of 13. Now the reason why I actually decided to do this episode is because uh, research, uh, a lot of the papers and also uh, just from day-to-day -day interaction with other gardeners has led me to believe and has sort of they've put it out there to say that bananas are really incredibly temperamental and difficult to germinate from seed. Okay so this I decided well let's just see if this is true and I managed to get all of the seed from a good friend of mine who I haven't actually met but um, yeah that's not the point <laughs> it's amazing how we call electronic people friends and we've not met them but I, I do consider him a friend I consider you a friend you know you're watching um, so yeah so Musa Paspanjali from seed, repotting, and eventually into the ground. This is it. Let's get going. So these are some of the seeds. Uh, I've already started the germination process on, on the rest of them. This is essentially what a banana seed looks like now they come in varying sizes i have seen smaller ones from different species which i do have at the nursery this particular one is the giant banana palm so in city ventricosum also has seeds that look very similar since they're also in the musa family uh, but this one here is uh is an afromontane sort of high altitude banana palm and gets really really large it was only described in i think about 2013 i speak under correction i'll put that up on screen um so yeah exciting times let's get germinating it's about two days later uh, my throat infection is nearly cleared up uh, i'd have you know um, which i'm very grateful for and now I have soaked the seeds, the banana palm seeds, for about 48 hours, okay? And I have since poured the water off, and this is what they look like now. They're literally just, they've come out of the water. They're still a little wet. Um, and I've prepared growing medium, okay? So, I've got some growing medium right there. So, I'm going to, I've got 13 seeds, okay? And I'm going to put them into that pot, that pot, and that pot. Okay, so this one looks different because it is just regular uh, seedling 
seedling soil, um, which I have bought. If you live in South Africa, it's called Kaltera, which is a great product. Uh, and then these two is are, are seeds that I, uh, well, it's seedling mix that I sort of put together myself. Okay, so uh, because it's to me, I just feel like it's so high risk, and you know, I'm so excited about these seed. I want them all to come up, so I want to give them all uh, the best possible chance of germinating. Um, so essentially, what I want to do is I'm going to take some of the largest, and I'm going to put one. I'm just going to take it and push it down just about an inch or so, not even, about there, one. And then I'm going to take another large one in this medium, two, and space them out quite nicely. So the one's about there, the other one is going to go there, and I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to take one of the smallest ones and put that in there. Now, when I soaked them for 48 hours, I did notice that all of them sank to the bottom, so they are all good, right? Uh, then I'm going to take another large one and put that one in there, okay? That one can go about, say, there. And let's take a little one as well. I'm just going to go for three for now. I have pre-moistened the medium, so... Uh, and then in the last pot, I'm going to take another big one and stick it in there. And then an intermediately sized one right there. And look, they say that you need bottom heat. Uh, and in other cases, I've read articles that say you do not need bottom heat because bananas respond very well to uh, fluctuating temperatures. So I'm going to I'm going to go with the fluctuating temperatures. Uh, another one in there. So I'm preparing for four, right? Uh, and then a little one in there. Okay, and then we're going to go with the fourth one here. I'm going to put this one slightly shallower. So I'm literally trying all of that, and I'm going to position the pot as. Uh, I see them here, right? I'm not gonna move them around and I've got notes which I will be uh, I'll be writing down so that I don't forget what uh, what position and you know all of that sort of lovely stuff. Okay, so there's four in there, four in there, four in there and here's one more which I am going to just put somewhere else. Okay, and as always, I've got the tags which I'm going to position in the pot, okay, with the date on it, so that I know exactly when I've sewed them. Okay, like that. And then I'm, whoops, these markers of mine really don't like the sun because it bleaches out quite easily so this is why I'm actually just sticking them really below the soil's surface. Now I'm going to give them one last good watering and then we wait. I'm going to leave them uh, outside uh, so when it gets really hot they're going to be getting really hot. When it gets really cold they're going to be getting really cold um, but it is summer so uh, all of those temperatures are relative. Okay, let's go. 23rd of December, I sowed the seeds. So today we are in, on the 2nd of March. Okay, so it's about, it's nearly three months. And here are two Musa Aspangeliae. Basbanjalai, however you say that. Um, and it's got this beautiful, <clears throat> excuse me, beautiful glaucous appearance to the leaf. You can see it's sort of in the morning sun. It's actually got this lovely color to it. Um, so today I am, I have checked in there for 
um, some extra seed I found that some of the other seed have died like or maybe they were initially dead already or whatever um, maybe they just weren't viable or perhaps uh, conditions changed um, and they just didn't come up so yeah well I'm going to repot one of them the other pot I'm going to leave just in case there are some seeds who do want to germinate because they are I believe quite erratic um, with respect to germination the third part has absolutely nothing so uh, we I'm not really sure whether anything's going to happen here I am going to stick around uh, and when I do my update video on how the plant uh, the plants are doing the two that we that we do have I will most certainly do an update uh, and tell you whether anything did germinate in this one or the other one that we're going to uh, going to rem leave untouched basically until you know we, we, until we it really needs to be repotted so yeah that is it now let's get repotting okay so here I have got the banana palm right I've mixed up some soil and you'll see that this is really good I'll I'll put a I'll put it up on screen what exactly I mixed into this. Um, it is basically a mixture of equal parts peat and good compost, river sand, vermiculite, perlite, and a controlled released fertilizer. Okay, so you'll see there's bits of sand in there as well, just for drainage, as well as as well as uh, perlite. Okay, so then I've got I'm. Um, this is a, I believe it's a 15 centimeter pot. Let's have a look. Uh, 15 centimeters, yes, that's right. Okay, this is a 15 centimeter pot, and then I've got this pot here, which actually happens to be a 20 centimeter. So I'm going up by five centimeters. Seems a lot. Um, really does seem a lot, actually, to me. It's bizarre that that's only five, five up. Hey, nevertheless, this is not what we're here for to debate. The mathematics of the pot but uh, what I'm going to do is I'm literally just going to fill this up put the plant in level it out back full and then pop the plant out and put it into a new pot okay essentially I have just put a little bit in the bottom um, loosely and then I'm gonna put the pot in there just to firm it down so you can kind of see what it looks like in there is it gonna is it gonna line up yes it is and then I'm going to grab a nice small container and begin to backfill side now some people have sort of said come to the nursery and they said to me geez I was watching this one episode and then I see you put a pot inside another pot and I was like dude does this guy even know what he's doing well, stick around, kids, because Daddy's going to show you exactly what I'm doing here. Okay. See if I just pull that out. Ta da! See that? So now I'll take this out and stick it in there. But for that, I need both of my hands. I will be right back. Here you can actually see that uh, this banana palm has got a nice, well established root system. And I uh, just wanted to show you that before we stick it into the pot. Okay? Now into the pot it goes. Ta da! all in so now we'll just let it carry on getting larger and come up into its in it into its uh, full state okay so now I'll just go and put it back with its sister or brother or whatever sibling that one's gonna go right there 
in the exact same position. Okay, so there you can see that's the other one, and this is the new older one. Okay, cool. Well, guys, that's it. Quick and dirty germinating a Musa plant. This one, Musa Pasbangelii. Pasbangeli, whatever. Something like that. Okay, so. You can see uh, it is raining right now, so it's caught quite a bit of water, which is lovely. There's a beautiful new leaf that's emerging. It is absolutely exquisite. I really do love mousses. And you can see this uh, sort of purpley, very dark under under um, color underneath the uh, the leaf. Very stunning. So this is Musa, about a year on from seed. That's what the stem looks like. Oh, let's just try and get you a, sorry, a close-up shot of that. Okay. Uh, I imagine this is like the first video of this particular banana palm on YouTube at all. Okay. So. I hope it helps people how uh, helps teach people how to actually grow this. Um, that's it. And right in the background, you can see a regular uh, Cavendish. Okay, so it's literally sitting in sand. I've kind of put a bit of compost with it, and it's been there now for about a month. Okay, one month, uh, maybe just a month and a half. Uh, but not more than that. Uh, there's the other banana. That's the normal Cavendish. And you can see the peduncle the up there with all the bananas on it. Uh, it is starting to rain. So let me show you the other one that's in a bag, which is a lot smaller in stature out of the two um, that did make it from seed. So we'll see. They say the seed is quite can be quite temper temperamental. So maybe there'll be a few more on the way. Uh, the summer, but I'm not gonna trust to hope that that is actually what will happen. I'm just glad that we've got these two. So let's take a look at the other. Right, so this is the other uh, Musa. I'm kind of just not looking as good as the other one. Definitely not. You can see this, it's much smaller in stature. Um, I've just kind of moved it, moved it out into full sun. And, uh, ooh, that leaf wants to unfurl. There we go. It's got a very different way of, of unfurling the leaf as well. And there you can see that beautiful color that I was, that was present on the, on the, on the older sibling. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's absolutely exquisite. This one's standing right by the pond, uh, next to the coconut palm. And uh, yeah, pond's not finished yet, and the power's out. So go South Africa! Bye.